Can everybody welcome to today's video? Today's video is OBD Sunday, and we got another OBD scanner. And this is the last one of this style of scanner that we will be looking at from now on. If it doesn't have some sort of can read ABS or airbags or bi directional, I'm starting to tell people I don't want it. All these scanners do the same. My viewers need something a little bit more advanced than just a basic code reader that loads up the parts cannon and people just spend their money on parts that they don't need. Anyways, let's have a look at this one. This one here comes in some crushed packaging from our beautiful postal service. Look on the bright side. Nice packaging. Spent some money on that. Let's crack this thing open one handedly. Here we are. Look at this bad boy right here. Get out of there. Comes with instructions in your cord. Operate the vehicle in a well ventilated work area. Keep it off corrodent and water. Mm, interesting. Kind of like the way it feels. It does have kind of a professional look to it. Here's your cable. Looks like it's got a pretty big length to it. The instructions, of course, are just pretty basic. Goes over everything. Let's plug this bad boy in. See what happens. So here we are. This looks exactly like the last scanner we looked at. Except just different different casing, that's all. It's going to come up and says, uh, not running our engine off or something. I bet you. Or will it? Yeah, engine off, see. Let's escape out of here. So, since we already know how this one's going to go, it's got to scan through, find out what system it is. Tell me, uh... No codes in their mill status off. Readiness completed three. Readiness not completed four. Data stream supported 48. Read codes. Of course, it's not going to. Uh, it's not going to say anything. No fault codes, right? Hit escape. Pending codes. None. Permanent DTCs. None. Basically, the most important thing in any of these basic scanners is going to be your data stream to be able to view them. Closed loop. Engine coolant. Right? Can I graph it? Oh yeah, there we go. The ability to have a graph is awesome. So let's go ignition timing, air intake temperature. I just plugged them into the graph there so it's gonna Graph them all by the colors you see. Spark advance, red. Intake air temperature is brown. Engine temperature is in yellow. So you can see the timing's jumping around. So being able to graph is very valuable when it comes to scanners. It's got freeze frame and all that stuff. But one thing I'm really curious is. Um, Oops, if I operate it properly, is it gives you the DTC lookup. Now, if you enter in the number, it'll tell you what the code is, but if your engine has the code, it's going to tell you what it is. So that's the part I don't really get about a lot about these scanners. What's this EVAP system? Can it test it? not supported doesn't surprise me all right well i'm gonna end the video there of the scanner not much different from the last one we did the previous week however i do have two more scanners coming up the next one's gonna be 
more advanced than what this one is. And then the one after that, apparently it's supposed to be an affordable bi-directional Bluetooth scanner that you can download vehicle manufacturer software for. So we'll see what that one's gonna be like. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I wanna thank you guys for watching.